Today we're going to show you the most essential bar tools that you need to begin your life as a home cocktail mixologist, as a home bartender, or just a cocktail enthusiast. Stay tuned. Brought to you by AwesomeDrinks.com. Check out learn.awesomedrinks.com to learn more about cocktails. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm Derek Schomer. This video series is meant to kickstart your journey into cocktails. More as a home bartender or cocktail enthusiast. Sure, it could probably get you down the road of becoming a journeyman bartender, but I just want to keep it relaxed and easy. Give you guys just the essential information. So I'll start by saying, mash the like button. If you're on YouTube, like and subscribe. That's the easiest support you could do. This is our first lesson of eight in this first block, which I'm calling course one. And that involves just covering the essential bar tools you need, the tricks of the trade, you wanna mix cocktails at home, you wanna to go to a friend's house and be the life of the party. This is the stuff you're probably gonna to wanna to bring with you. These pieces make up what I call the home bartender starter kit on awesomedrinks.com. I own the store, go buy the kit. Of course, if you're watching this on learn.awesomedrinks.com, you probably already know that. So while I'm gonna make videos that drill down on each of these tools, this is your overview to understand a little bit more of what you're getting into. So let's start with the boss and shaker and the strainer. This is one of the core elements of any bartender starter kit. Actually, we sell them as just weighted cocktail shakers as well, where you don't need all, if you have some of these tools, you don't need them all, you can buy just these pieces. It's a strainer, it's a pint glass, and it's a shaker tin. This is a 28 ounce shaker tin. The Boss's Shake is a relatively new device, although shaking to make cocktails or uh, mixing things has been around since like 7000 BCE, which I learned is before Common Era. So if you're not a history major, it was a long time ago. From my own personal view, I think a Boss's Shaker is faster and more efficient than a three-piece cobbler, like this. You'll see a lot of three-piece cobblers tend to be branded with company logos on them. This is from a uh, Baron Yeager sponsorship I did. One. Two, three. It's three pieces. One has a strainer, the tin, and the cap. And a little bit of irony, a boss shaker is really three pieces. The shaker, and then something to strain it with. Pro bartenders can strain it like this. Let's not worry about that. How do you use a shaker like this? Stay tuned for that video. The next tool of the trade. This is a bar spoon. It's simple, right? Long handle, makes it easy for stirring. Fish out garnishes, helps keep your hand out of the drink. If I was to be stirring, I have a nice long spoon so my hands aren't dipped into the glass. Although, in a professional environment, you'll often see this, because that red tip is really the side for stirring. But we'll have an entire video dedicated to the bar spoon, so stay tuned for that. The citrus squeeze, boom! This is the citrus squeeze you get with the bartender starter kit. Now, the home bartender starter kit does not come with a very expensive one. You can always be looking for a chef and squeeze. This thing will produce a lot more juice, but it costs a lot more money, almost as much as the entire starter kit. If you're new here, and you're new to making cocktails, and you're not even sure how ambitious you're going to be, this is gonna work for you, this is gonna be fine. Plus, it's not gonna break. That's really what it comes down to, is you don't need products to break. I don't care if you're just starting or not, products should work with quality. This is by far, when I go to a host a party or do any type of uh, cocktail event, this is the thing I stress to myself not to forget, because I cannot count the number of times I've been to a party and I've brought out all my tools and I forgot this one essential tool and as it turns out people who don't know cocktails often don't have one of these. You can usually find something to measure with, maybe even shake with, but squeezing citrus becomes a real big pain. But when you do want to measure something, you want it to be fast and efficient, you don't want to carry a whole pile of jiggers, the Japanese double jigger is your friend. This is a more of a recent addition to the bartender kit that I've included. I used to use the Easy Step Jigger. I moved to this because it's a little bit faster, a little bit more precise, and it has a lot of different measures. Five total measures on here. This guy measures two ounces, an ounce and a half, one ounce, three quarters, and a half ounce. There's a three quarter someplace. Oh, they're both in here. Plus it's fancy looking. So if you look into a press, this is what you'll often see at a craft bar. Although they don't always have the same measurements, they usually just use the two and have different arrays of Japanese jiggers, you'll see ones that look very similar to this. And again, we'll have a video on measuring. Stay tuned for that. Next, the muddler. This is a muddler. This is the most basic of muddlers. Much like the citrus press, you could upgrade. Heck, you could upgrade your bar spoon too, for more money. You could go with something that's like a heavy duty wooden muddler. But you're just starting out. You don't even know if you like juleps. You might not even know if you like a mint mojito. So start simple. Easy muddler, nice and cheap, does the job, muddles your herbs. That's all you really need to start. 
And yeah, you're probably not going to use it all of the time, but it's good to have, especially when you're in the springtime, summertime cocktail fests. And yes, we are going to have another course on making specific cocktails, utilizing muddlers and such. Last but not least is the julep strainer. Historically, this was used for mint juleps before straws were popular, but today it's a little bit different. When you're stirring a cocktail using your mixing glass, if you just bought the bartender starter kit, the mixing glass doubles as your shaker, so it's going to be this pint glass. You might also purchase a mixing glass. Either way, the julep strainer comes in handy. One of the things about the springs on here is you want to be able to preserve them over time. The standard strainer, known as a Hawthorne strainer, doesn't always fit around your glasses. It doesn't fit too bad in here, but it does get a little bit tight. And if you're making a drink with a standard glass, a lot of the times these springs can start to get damaged or worn. So to preserve your strings, they started coming out with this concept of using the julep strainer. The julep strainer is cool. You lie it inside, it holds back your ice, and you're done. It also grabs any big particles if you have large chunks of mint. It's really designed for a mixing glass. But this is just as well as a mixing glass as this. The only downfall, this one has a cool spout. This one you just gotta pour a little quicker. That one's also four ounces bigger. Overall, the julep strainer is kind of the hit or miss. You may need it, you may not. I put it into the kit because it's a nice thing to have, especially if you wanna do things cocktail appropriate. People will expect this when you're stirring a drink. Of course, if they don't know anything about cocktails, who cares? You're already winning. Next, we're going to learn how to use all these tools. So to start your journey as a craft cocktail mixologist, home bartender, or just somebody who likes cocktails, check out the Home Bartender Starter Kit over at AwesomeDrinks.com. Actually, it's, it's right below, so you can just click on that. To continue your journey in craft cocktails, click on some of the videos over there. And check out the new learning portal I'm working on. It's called learn.awesomedrinks.com. We're teaching you how to drink.